Last week, we were made aware that the FBI had in their possession a tape. Well, now, for the first time, we're hearing that audio of Donald Trump speaking to his former attorney, Michael Cohen, in the lead-up to the 2016 election. In the recording obtained by CNN, Cohen appears to be heard discussing with Trump the logistics of buying the rights to Karen McDougal's story from the publisher of the National Enquirer. She is the former Playboy model who alleges she and Trump had an affair. So I'm, I'm all over that. And I spoke to Alan about it when it comes time for the financing, which will be... Listen, what financing? We'll have to pay you. So pay no, 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 no. I got... No, no, no. No payment was ever made to McDougal, but it appears from the audio that the then presidential candidate was aware of the plan to buy her silence. Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, says the tape proves nothing illegal was ever discussed. Now, the president took to Twitter this morning to respond to the tape's release, saying, what kind of a lawyer would tape a client? So sad. Is this a first? Never heard of it before. Why was the tape so abruptly terminated, cut? Well, I was presumably saying positive things. I hear there are other clients and many reporters that are taped. Can this be so? Too bad. With more, I want to bring in Timothy Hagel, political science professor at the University of Iowa. Good morning, Professor. Thank you very morning. much for being with us. So uh, let's just remind everyone that President Trump once said that Michael Cohen was very loyal and he would never flip on him. Do you think that this uh, proves otherwise? Well, it's a little hard to say, but it seems to be heading in that direction. And certainly that's the kind of thing that Cohen's attorney, Lanny Davis, seems to be trying to uh, engineer, if not, well, let's put it this way. He seems to be defending his client, but in the course of doing so is engineering a rift between the two. And that's problematic for Cohen to a certain extent, because as he, working as an attorney for Trump at the time, he's under a variety of confidentiality requirements uh, that could cause him to lose his license uh, given this this taping that he's done of not just Trump, but apparently some other clients as well. Although he might be willing to take that risk if it means he might be going behind bars. Well, that's the trade-off. If, if there's something that Cohen is being accused of that could, in fact, give him criminal liability and perhaps potentially put him in jail, then it may be worth it to lose his license in that regard. So what about the contents of the tape? Do you see it as clear proof that Donald Trump was trying to buy McDougal's silence on their alleged affair? It's possible, and certainly that's the kind of a thing where it doesn't necessarily indicate that, yes, he had the affair, that buying the rights to the story is probably cheaper and certainly faster than filing a lawsuit uh, to, to keep it from happening that he's done in other, situ other situations, that sometimes people will just go ahead and buy somebody off because that's easier to do. And this would be a little bit more indirect way to do it because at the time, of course, being a presidential candidate, it's not something that you want to do uh, directly and, and openly. Cohen's lawyer says that there are more tapes. Is this Donald Trump's worst nightmare? Well, it, it may be to a certain extent. And again, it could be that Trump didn't do anything illegal, but we know, of course, from his business dealings that it's certainly something that has made people unhappy if you've been on the short end of, of some of those dealings. And that's not the kind of a thing that most business people, aside from being the president, would want to have in the public domain. Because if nothing else, again, assume, even assuming there's nothing illegal on the tapes, that it's the kind of dirty laundry, so to speak, that just becomes difficult to, for you to be have aired in public. And certainly as president, when you're trying to get people uh, to work with you, members of Congress in particular, it just sort of stirs up that animosity among among the people that don't like Trump, and as a result, then he can't get his agenda through, which to a certain extent is the, is the point. Well, let me ask you about that, and I feel like I ask this question at least once a week. Um, <laughs> will this affect his base? For those supporters of Donald Trump that really see no wrong with what he does, um, do you think that this is going to change anyone's mind, Timothy? I, you know, I don't think so, in the sense that it really isn't all that revealing. There's, uh, you know, some question as to what was meant on the tape. Um, you had a little bit cleaned up version from the one that I heard, so it's a little bit clearer as far as what's exactly being said, but it doesn't seem that anything actually happened. They're just sort of talking about alternatives, and it's not sort of as as a bombshell like the Hollywood Access tape or something along those lines. And at this point, it's it's kind of baked in. But again, the, the more important point might be is to the extent to which this causes some rift between Cohen and Trump and gets Cohen to perhaps reveal some uh, more damaging information that could hurt Trump later on. Uh, and that's perhaps the, the bigger goal here of, of this tape, revealing this tape. 
And again, President Trump saying once that Cohen would never flip, no matter what. Interesting to see how this one plays out. Timothy Hagel, political science professor at the University of Iowa. Take care. Thanks so much.